Hello guys, welcome to a new video. We're opening a figure. Today we're opening a special opening this Batman Classics. It says Batman and it says Classics. I don't know if it means Classic Wave or what the deal is. We're opening this Batman from Marvel DC Universe. It's basically kind of like the Marvel Legends line or the now Marvel Multiverse line. I think this is what they originally used to be. But it has a bunch of cool figures and then you get them when you build a figure. So definitely it's like Marvel Legends or like the DC Multiverse line now. So yeah. This is one of the other ones, size open list, let's go. But, we're not opening that. Because I got this as well. It's small, it's not really enough to do a video. And since it was also by DC Universe, has like the same logos and stuff as this, it will open in this mini black hand as well. So, let's jump into it. Bam! Let's go. So we have the Batman figure here and the DC Multiverse figure. So let's look at the smaller one here first. This is DC Universe. An army of heroes with a new graph, so it's basically supposed to be like miniature versions. Uh, here's Crisis, Black Hands, Series 1, Figure 2, so we got Black Hands. As you see in the back here, we have all the information about Black... A bunch, excuse me, bunch of information about Black Hands. Here's some other stuff. And here's, I don't know if this is game, what the hell, but this, we're gonna, here's some other stuff. And then here's the other thing you can get. You get like Black Adam, Adam Strange, Shazam, Green, Guy Gardner. Reverse the zoom and the atom, all cool figures. And we got Black Hand with the one we're opening. And I got this for a dollar fifty nine out of like a good while back in the day. So let's for a good, it was a long good bit ago. But let's open this guy. I think I can open really easy, and this guy's gonna be really easy to review and open and whatever. It comes straight out of the box. And he, oh, he has a cape too. What's interesting? So let's see if we can get him out. Whoa! No, I thought I almost bended him there. Let's go out to the side. Let's take a look at a black hand figure. Now this is obviously like a really small figure, so let's uh, get in personal. We have the face. Looks great. Looks like black hand. Can't really say anything about the face. Uh, it has a nice like cape, but kind of like floats like this. It doesn't do really that. It does look like a little bit. I did do this thing in the back. Oh, I, you can look in the back of the cape there. It doesn't really do like that one thing with like the super gold where it has the big like bend thing back here, which looks really weird. But yeah, nice, nice cape. Um, and then we have the hands and arms, look pretty decent, like printing, I like the one that's grey, got the Black Lantern logo, the back one looks nice. I mean, it's a pretty simple figure, and it is a small figure, so I don't know really where he's gonna go, because he doesn't fit on any of these stands, because he's way too small, and he would look really small compared to that, but this is a nice little figure. I'm happy to have a black hand figure, even if it's a small mini one, in the collection, really nice. Yeah, so let's, we'll get one of these, and just, I doubt it. Nope, 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 too, way too small. I knew they were too small. I just thought crying it would be funny. Does that work? So, we'll keep this, we'll keep this here though, because we'll be we using it for the Batman figure. So let's step back into the side. He's really cool. Just, just set him to the side. He's a cool figure. So let's set him to the side. And let's open Batman. DC Universe Batman. So we have Batman Classics Wave 10, Figure 7. Uh, inside, he includes your collect and connect figure piece, so he has a piece to build uh, this guy, who is M Imperiax, who I, looks familiar, but by, it doesn't, and his name sounds familiar. I think he's a Superman character, because he sounds like a Superman character, but we can also get cool characters like Forger, who's cool, I like Forger, Man that's cool, Power Girl, we get Joker, we get Beast Boy, and we get Roar Man, who I really like, Doom Patrol, so that's cool. I like a lot of these characters, and we get a Batman, so it's like, yeah, this is a cool line. You get a bunch of obscure characters, some obscure characters, some obvious characters and it's great and then let's get to oh we have down here the biography of batman i'm gonna see if i can move this up a little cam up a little yeah can you guys get that move it up a little bit more there we go yeah i can pretty much get that i think so there we go and then we got the statistics and everything of batman so get all this if you can Just pause it if you need to and read it and let's get back down a little and let's flip it around let's open this bad boy has one of these things on the back. Uh, does that truly do anything if I take it off? I guess not really, but we're gonna take it off. Now I can move to the front and see how this figure opens. I guess we can open it like this. Oh! Oh, we got it. We got it going good. Take that back off. Pull out the figure. And all the goods. Take that out. And we got the figure here has a bunch of these things we can cut with the scissors. Oh, 
Oh, here we go, that one out. Get all this little shit out of it. It has some stuff on it. There we go. So we get that out. Put the trash over here. And we get Batman. Let's see if we can get this thing out of way. There might be another one. Okay. Let's get Batman out. Let's get these Batman out. Does it have this thing on it? Yes, it does. So let's get some Batman out. So now we can take you here. Get this stuff off the Batman. Get all this shit off Batman. Cause we uh, need it. I think that's all right. Okay, so let's look at. We're gonna move this Batman figure. See if it posed in the box. But I kind of think it's cool. It makes him look a little bit nice. Let's look at all the stuff we got. So we got. If we got a Batarang. A nice looking Batarang. And it can. Uh, looks like. It almost looks like it can move. Like. On the side can move, but they don't. Like you know, like it can like forward and bend or whatever. But still, cool little battering. Can't really complain. It's battering. Not much to say about that. Looks cool. And then we have this little like back computer, or whatever you want to call this. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before in the comic or anything. But it looks cool. A little back computer thing. You have it on this side. It looks like it's just a bat. You can fold it. So it looks like this or something. Nice, don't want that cool accessory. And we got this, this is DC Universe. Uh, this is the stand. Uh, this is for, I believe, the DC Universe stand is for the IMAX. So the, let's take a look here. We can take a quick look here. Yep, each one of these comes with a piece to build this guy. Obviously Batman has the figure stand. Technically the figure stand could be used also on the Batman. I'm kind of curious. We'll check that out in a minute and actually try it. Because we could actually use it just on the Batman if we wanted to for now. Let's look at the Batman. So we have... Here we have our Batman. Nice face. Decent face. Looks like Batman. I don't know what specific Batman this book looks like. This is the one he has the all black suit and stuff with. Looks nice. Uh, his feet looks great. He has boots on. Great with that. Belt looks nice. A little gold belt buckle here. I didn't did know that. He had like a... Looks like a gold belt buckle there and a belt around. All the way around. Back, he doesn't have that weird thing with the cape, like I said, so that's great. His cape is actually, it's like, it's like, it's, as you can see here, it's like, it feels weird, as forward in a way, but I think it's made to look like it's in some type of motion. So that's why it looks kind of like that. It was, it's fine, it looks fine, I think it's fine. Then we have his hands, but have the little, what are these little spiky things on? I think someone's going to little bend, but yeah. Nice, still nice. Batman logo on his chest, uh, looks great as well. He has the one of the torso thing, where he can move a little bit in the torso like this. And yeah, nice like the looking figure. Exactly better than that other one, but yeah, nice one to add to the collection. So let's add the battering to his hand because he can definitely hold the battering in one of these hands. I bet you. Yep, put it in that hand fits perfectly, and then can this back computer go in the other hand? That'd be nice if they can, if he can like have both of them or use both of them or whatever. Ah, right, can he even hold this better? This back computer thing. So it'd be nice if he could. Yeah, it doesn't really hold this on this hand. You might not be able to hold the back. Back and we're just gonna say, can we actually close it? Boom. Oh yeah, you can close it like that. Okay, you can close it so it looks like that. Okay, we're just gonna close it to the side. It doesn't really look like he can hold it so much. But we can't, he can't hold the battering, so we will hold that. Because it seems like he can hold the battering pretty well. So we'll put the battering back inside. Booty bang. There we go. Let's see if we walk on the stand that came with him. I know it's for the Ogmax figure, but we'll see if the if he'll fit on it as well. You see how he fits. And yes, he does fit on that. It's a little bit of a small stand. I wonder if they all come stands. I don't think they do. He does fit on this little stand, but I think we're going to give him the new stand. Because this other stand is really small and kind of fits. So this, he will walk on this stand, but like I said, this is for the other figure. So I think we'll just save it for him. He might not even use that stand if I don't like it, but we we'll use these bigger ones and put this guy on it. So let's... I just want to figure that's not going to work. Yeah, this figure is not working at all. Let's try the other foot. Sometimes one foot works better than the other. Okay, so this is one of those figures that does not really work on this stand. He does not really want to work on this stand. No, sir. Oh, actually, that foot he does. That foot does. Okay. So it seems like... That foot kind of worked. Okay, it worked on it enough. So let's put the battering back in. 
And yeah, so it does work. Ah, it does work a little bit. I might actually use that little stand, that DC one. Because I wasn't going to use it. I'm like, ah, oh, it actually works kind of nice. You know, that one works. I like this one. Looks better. So yeah, we got this. Let's shut off in that camera and call it a day. Here we go. The Batman figures on the stand. I might pull them out for the other stand. Who knows? But yeah, that's the box or whatever. Plastic of the box just pops and they kind of make go, what? What was that? But yeah, nice, cool looking figure. Check him out. I think he's a cool figure. These stands, like I said, this one does not 100% walk on him. He does kind of sometimes fall off. So I might swap him for the other stand. But yeah, really cool Batman figure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. You guys can always stay up. See you next video, guys. Bye.